So last week I told you guys I really wanted to dye my hair blonde. Growing up as an Asian kid, I've always had natural black hair because my Asian parents were too strict to let me dye my hair. Sorry, mom and dad. So I decided to take a risk and dye my hair. Unfortunately, I got a lot of responses not to do it. Actually, alarmingly, everybody told me not to dye my hair. Your hair is gonna fall off and break off, okay? After watching a couple videos of Guy Tang and a little bit of Brad Mondo, I decided that I'm gonna take the risk, dye my hair blonde, and let us just face the consequences. I'm so scared my hair is actually gonna burn off. Let's get started. I look like a boy. It's Jade from the future, and I don't want to share my hair reveal until the end of this video, but let's just say I am blonde under here, and it did not go as expected. It may be a good way, but I quickly want to say that I'm having a meetup in Los Angeles. If you want to meet me or learn how to grow online on social media, go sign up for the Green Room Live. It's a two-day event and conference. I'm so excited to host it. I'm really nervous that we're not going to sell any tickets. If we don't, then I'm going to be in debt. So <laughs> click in the description box if you want to meet me and sign up for the Green Room Live. And let's carry on with the rest of today's video. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my noodles now. Hello? I want you to talk me out of going blonde. Oh my god! <laughs> you're gonna hate yourself. You're just gonna start brushing your hair and you're gonna look at the ground and there's gonna be a pile of hair on the ground. What? Because your hair is gonna fall off and break off, okay? And then also it's gonna cost you so much money and your roots are gonna grow and it's gonna look ugly as hell. Did you do it yourself? Did you go to like a hairdresser? No, like I went to a hairdresser every single time. I went in every single month. I promise you it'll f your hair up and f your life up. <laughs> morning guys all right so it's the day that i dye my hair blonde before i head to the salon i have some work things to do and i want to take you along my day basically i'm gonna visit our manufacturer for eat like eat likes a food subscription box i've been working on and our packaging uh round two arrived we got all of the packaging in my car there's like five cases of them in the trunk as well so we should be good for um our sales and yeah we just launched our box like about a week ago and just fulfilling orders has been a pain just because i just didn't know what to expect i'm headed to the gym right now um so yeah this is before before the gym and we're back from the gym um super sweaty and it's actually a good thing because apparently when you dye your hair blonde you need to make your roots and scalp super oily so the bleach doesn't burn your scalp um now that I'm saying this, it sounds really dangerous, but I kind of did a lot of research. As in research, I mean watch a lot of Guy Tang. And yeah, the more dirty and filthy your hair, the better for it to be healthy. So literally, I haven't washed my hair low-key in like five, seven days. <laughs> Because I'm so terrified for my scalp to get any sort of burn. Like, I have a very sensitive scalp, and my roots are just, like, so precious. So, yeah, like, I don't even want to show you guys how disgusting it is, but, like, my hair is so so bad so i'm excited for my appointment it's actually currently 9 51 a.m my appointment's at 2 30 so i have some work stuff to do shipping out some orders for eat like um and yeah i'm really excited i wonder if i should just put like straight up oil in my hair i've seen people do that but it's it's actually pretty gross so i think i did a good job at like making it more healthy so yeah i will catch you guys when i'm back home and i will see you hopefully at my next hair appointment hey i'm gonna go to my haircut Bye. Any last words for me? No. See you later. <laughs> See you when I'm a different person. No, no, I think I changed your mind. <laughs> Guys, I'm here at my appointment. It's 2.30 now. I'm <laughs> so nervous. I literally put chapstick all over my hairline. I'm so scared my hair is actually going to burn off. Like, that's what my thinking is. We're looking at some hair inspo like literally five minutes before my appointment but i think i really want to go with a light ash blonde brown i know i can't go platinum because my hair is just so dark but that is the goal i'm so nervous <laughs> julia is here gonna transfer my head of hair i'm very nervous but also very excited because i've never been lighter than brown we're gonna go as light as possible right julia <laughs> Apparently is like lightening pretty well. Um, what level do you think it is right now? Eight. Okay, so we're gonna see what happens next. Um, we have these lots of sheets. My head, my head feels nice and heavy. 
<laughs> but um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, currently it's um, we are two hours in. Still fun vibes. My hair is lightening so well. I'm not even gonna show you guys so you can see the great reveal. Before I even had this idea to go blonde, I have tried to lighten my hair before, but every stylist that I've kind of encountered told me like, probably not the best to go as light, but like, I'm not gonna even show you guys, but we are very light. So I'm very impressed. Hey guys, so it's uh, hour number five in. And we have reached a level where we finished bleaching and now it's time to just put a mask and like tone it. But basically like we reached a level of lightness where I think it's um, it's ready to, to be toned. So we're very excited. We just add a toner to my head of hair. It looks like, um, it looks very dark, but I think it's gonna wash out, right? <laughs> it's super, super blended. Now I think the goal is to just make it seamless and we're gonna leave it for 20 minutes. It's currently 8 p.m. Julia and I have been having a fun time, right Julia? Yes. <laughs> So yours is in between, so you're, well, you're gonna use a blue shampoo because purple has warmth in it. What? So everybody uses purple shampoo. Yes, and it never what works. the heck? It works for like... After toner, Julia mixed a magical concoction with blue shampoo instead of purple to get at that blue ashy tone. I was super impressed guys because honestly I was alarmed when my hair looked like this. Like I was so scared my hair was gonna be yellow and brassy but you guys will be so surprised when you see the final result. I just want to quickly say that I want to thank you so much, Julia, for giving this experience because I've always thought I would be ugly or, you know, Asians can't be blonde or there's just so many limitations to what I've been told. So it was really cool just to go out to my comfort zone and try something different. Also, getting my friend's reaction was the best part. So make sure you guys sit at the end to watch that. She's so thoughtful. Like, literally, Julia is so thoughtful. She just knows every single detail. She's like super. She'll take care of you guys. Darmination, please. Do such a thing. Oh, wow. I'm so blonde. In this lighting. <laughs> oh my god. Julia, you are a magician. <laughs> this is so amazing. Thank you so much. You guys, if you were in Vancouver, actually, if you're in Portland, <laughs> we're just talking about Portland, you have to come to Julia. Her salon is actually in Vancouver, Washington, but you guys should come over. It's worth the trip. Thank you so much. Welcome. Can I, I give you a hug? Yes. I appreciate it so much. My friend has never seen my hair before. Hello! Have oh, <laughs> you seen anything different? Your hair? <laughs> <laughs> oh you look so good. Actually? <laughs> Did you cut it? Did I cut it? How long gonna last? <laughs> Does it wash out? Doesn't wash out. So we bleached it so it should last for a long time. What? How are you? It took me a second. I, mean, I brought you a housewarming gift. No way. Is so, this your new company? Yeah, this is my new company. We have. It looks so different. Like a style icon. Like I feel like that hair color just screams like I'm fashionable. Oh, here we go. What do you think about the packaging? I love it. It looks a little like Instagram. Okay. Kind of coloring. I like it. Okay. I like it. <laughs> All right. So we have dark chocolate, mangoes, chocolate, trail mix. Thanks okay. for a wait, busy meal to go. Who is this? Is this for? Oh, this is my box. This is. Oh, my this is the like you like you. <laughs> Okay, so it's officially five days after my first appointment and I just want to answer the most burning question, literally, did my hair fall off and is my hair healthy after all the bleach? And I'm proud and relieved to say, surprisingly, my hair is on my head and healthy. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but she's shiny and she's okay and I was expecting it honestly to feel like sandpaper, but Julie did such a great job that it's like... Healthy, and I think the key, by the way, is do not bleach it so many times. We used a high enough volume to get it pretty light. And obviously it's not fully, you know, perfect. When you take it from black to light blonde, your hair is gonna give, but honestly, it's okay. And I'm really excited because it just inspired me to do whatever I wanted. And if you wanna dye your hair blonde, I hope this empowers you to listen to yourself and not care about what the world might think. I know not a lot of people might like my hair, Sorry, mom and dad, but I'm just really happy to do something for myself and take care of what I wanted to do since literally I was like nine years old. This is my dream. I'm like blonde and I'm just so happy. So 
Thank you so much for watching, guys, and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, just comment below anything. Let me know your thoughts about the hair. And I posted tons of pictures on my Instagram, so go follow my Instagram if you want to see the photo shoot I took. Um, so yeah, go blonde or go home, do you boo, and don't give a shit about what everyone thinks. Alright guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.